I need a new car battery. Interstate Batteries has batteries for everything. Every battery for every need. Cell phones, laptops, motorcycles, lawnmowers, even watches. You name it, if it's a battery, we can find it. Come see us at Airwalk Auto. Turn your tax refund into your dream ride. Trucks, cars, SUVs, and vintage rides. Come check out our selection. We offer financing, trades, and warranties. Don't see what you're looking for? We can find it. Check out our website and like us on Facebook. Hey, walk on And remember, if you need wheels, we've got deals. Area teams race to advance to state. To win state, you have to win districts. This Friday's Wild Woody's Game of the Week features teams vying to add a district championship patch to their letter jackets. Watch the game live on the stjoechannel.com. Kansas City's path to the 2014 NFL season began in St. Joseph. As they prepare for their upcoming preseason games, KQ2 Sports will be there to give you the sights and sounds. <laughs> Matt Trenton and Justin Sampson will bring you KC Blitz, your Kansas City Chiefs preseason pregame show. They will report to you game storylines and discuss key matchups. The show will air on August 23rd, 30 minutes prior to the 7 p.m. kickoff between the Chiefs and Vikings at Arrowhead Stadium live on KQ2. And Fox 26 KNPN reporter Andre Hannon was there. He traveled down to the Kansas City Convention Center to check out all the hype. Kansas City Convention Center has been transformed into a baseball theme park. There is one interactive attraction after another. Kids can steal bases, see how fast they can throw a pitch, and get hitting instructions from big leaguers. This is truly the Kansas City Build of Dreams. All-Star Fan Fest 2012 kicked off with All-Star Ambassador George Brett signing the world's largest baseball. This baseball features the John Hancock of baseball's greatest player. I was very honored when Major League Baseball and the Kansas City Royals offered me the title as ambassador. Uh, the mayor, the club, the people, the volunteers, everybody has been nothing short of spectacular in helping us plan and execute All-Star Week, including Fan Fest. All-Star Fan Fest has meant the return of several prominent Royals to the Kansas City area. The 1985 World Series MVP being one of them. The city's kind of having a, a blast with this All-Star. It's been so long since they've had an All-Star game here. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of excitement. It kind of reminds me of a World Series back in 1985, the excitement that's going on. So it's good. But I was telling the, the uh, Tim Brosnan and the, and the Major League Baseball folks that Kansas City will do this as well as anyone's done it in the past. And we'll... I think we'll, this city will set the bar for the way it's done in the future. Sam Graves began his climb to the United States Congress as a Missouri State Representative in 1992. And in 94, he was elected to the State Senate. Something that I never intended to, to get into, uh, but I found the work very rewarding. Helping people out with problems that they have is probably the biggest reward. Yarver's motivation behind running for the 6th district seat is not only for the people across Missouri, but for what kind of future is going to be left for his daughter. It's for my family. That's part of the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, my daughter is, the, is going to be nine months old here in, in about a week. And what kind of world are we going to leave for her? With three weeks to go until the election, people are gearing up for a tight race. Well, everyone except for college students. Political awareness on campuses this year is at a low. Most college students today are apathetic. They don't care much about politics. Even in political science courses here on campus, they do not really get involved in the political discussion. Just four years ago, when President Obama's campaign was making a historic run to the White House, College campuses were buzzing with excitement, marching towards the election day. This generation of college students, called the Millenniums, have a different view of politics than the generation before. They have become post-9-11 adults that haven't known a nation that wasn't in war or some sort of economic crisis. The generation of the 60s, right, had the same 
kind of crisis, right? And they're one of the most politically active generations in our history. So I think it is more that the millennial uh, generation is, is much more distracted and not in a bad way. It's just they have so much information coming at them from so many different sources between Facebook and Twitter and social media and television and that they just get swamped and they can't make sense of it. And so they just sort of tune it out. When Americans go to the ballots in November, how will the election be affected by the detachment college students have shown for the political process? The lack of knowledge creates the ignorance and statements of why they're voting or why they're not voting. And so that, that, that right there, it just kind of, it, it, it upsets me, you know, that we as a generation don't want to be informed about what's going on. Reporting for Fox 26 KNPN, this is Andre Hannon.